Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a few different things in this episode. Um, I did do a little bit off camera. Well, technically it was on camera because I started filming a different episode and it didn't really turn out how I wanted it to turn out. So I'm just going to cover what I have done uh, in the episode that I'm not going to show you guys. So the first thing that I did was I upgraded this whole tram station thing here I added in separate lanes for them so the ones that are the trams that go in this area they use this platform whereas the ones going elsewhere which you'll see in a second use the top one um, and then we also have space to add in more tram stations in the future um, so something that was really annoying me off camera was that since we built the new area over here there was so much traffic for some reason going through here and I was like why are they all not just using the highway like there's a highway exit here but for some reason they all wanted to go through here so what I had to do was I had to add in this line here which is a tram line but also this is where the tram stops it turns around there um, so it's really really popular and it's helped reduce a lot of the cars and just by having this road here also really really helped the traffic congestion because all of the traffic was going over here but now it's quite split so um, I also added in this nice big bridge here and you can see that I started laying out a few different little bits of roads and I just want to show you guys this part here so I put in this was the original road so it's still here originally it curved around and connected onto here but now I made it go straight ahead so it goes through this little tunnel and directly past the train station and then down along this main road um, and then I made this one go like this over this road because I want this road here which goes up along here I want this to be like a mini little highway uh, it's like a little slip road so for example if they're over here and they want to go over to here they can easily just go along here and I'll increase the speed to something that's quite useful so they can zoom along there just instead of having to go all the way up and through there and then going up through there so I just don't want them to have to go through all of this traffic um, and so that'll be quite useful in the future but um, not not yet because I haven't built anything and you might also notice I added in a few little monuments I haven't finished detailing this area yet um, I, I did add in some of these but for some reason they all dis disappeared when I connected the roads um, I added in this nice looking bridge I quite, I quite like it uh, and then also I added in this one which is the natural disaster monument actually with all the different flags which which looks quite nice so that's basically a summary of what I have done off camera um, so what I really wanted to do today was I wanted to make a highway interchange well not, interta not interchange but exit and entrance ramp right here and I was thinking since this land here is already raised up we can maybe use that to our advantage we can maybe make a road that goes along here um, and then connects up with maybe like a roundabout style that goes underneath I don't want to put it down here because for me this whole area is going to be quite useful area to build on so we'll put it up here so it's kind of out of the way um, we can just use the side of the mountains and if it does look really really odd like from over here we can just put all these trees back these really high ones and kind of disguise it in so it doesn't look really gross up on the hill so hopefully that will turn out good um, and then maybe it, towards the end of this video or the next episode we really need to put in some industrial area because look at the the demand it is really really high it's 100 percent we have no demand for people we have a half a demand for commercial but we really need some industrial so i was thinking i might put a little one right here since it's going to be close to the highway entrance and exit so they can easily just get to the highway and i can also add in little slip lanes right here probably um, it's also close to the tram line so we could put a, a station here and then a walkway over to all the industrial area so um, yeah hopefully that looks good i'm going to download some different mods uh, different assets that are more suiting to this city instead of instead of just doing like very ordinary looking industrial area so uh, also just one more thing before I get started when you you might notice when I place a bridge for some reason um, they don't allow you to put the dirt underneath so uh, you'll notice that the dirt will sometimes disappear so I always have to re add the dirt which is annoying like this and then see how it kind of bounces back 
the underneath the water so I had to um, you'll notice like I made the the waterways quite wide under bridges some of the trees are underwater but like here you can see it's quite wide um, and then like just just like that it creates a really yucky cliff even in here it's done it again so does anyone know how to stop the bridges from doing that weird yucky underneath thing um, this one is okay this one is okay but it's just when the bridge goes partially over land it looks really gross typical and now it's flooding but you know what it can fix itself up I don't mind so we need to work out what I want to do here um, I was thinking I can maybe reduce the height of this down just a slight little bit and then we can use the terrain that's already elevated to put a road that goes over this and directly to the highway connection um, and that main road can maybe go like along here over this connect up under here and then straight over into this whole area here which will really help facilitate all of this traffic over here um, so yeah let's 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 go I haven't designed it but I've got a rough a rough idea in my head so it's going to consist of a roundabout kind of like um, I guess like this the connections like that um, and yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes so we have a lot of roundabouts already so it should fit in with the theme So hopefully that is enough space. Let's go into first person mode and just have a look. Is that enough space for trucks? I think so. I think it should be good. Ah, it's a little bit of an angle here. But I might have to adjust the height of that in a second. But, um, oh my god, look at that road. That's crazy. But, uh, actually, can we... I can. Can I drag that into place and potentially use this as... The entrance ramp for my highway. Um, let's use that one. Bring it down. I always wondered why they didn't make this one-way lane that has the barrier, the wall barrier, like this. Like why? Why did you guys leave out that one, one little road? Because to get the barrier, you have to raise it up. Um, why isn't it raising? There we go. But yeah, I like I like the barrier look. It makes it look more secure, right? That does not look good, does it? Okay, it's around the wrong way. Flip, flip. Okay. You know what? It's not as high as I thought it would be. I wasn't sure if I, if I was going to put the roundabout um, on top or below it, but I think below fits in probably better. Um, and if I okay, let's just try let's just try from here first. Can I connect up? No, I think I'll have to delete this, but then it's going to create a yucky angle when I can once I connect it, right? No, it didn't. Okay, that's good. Sometimes when you connect a road to a roundabout, it really makes a yucky, weird angle. I don't know why, but. I'm glad it didn't do it this time, so let's connect it up there like that. Jeez, right now it's like a roller coaster. Oh my god. It's a little bit far away. I wonder if I could no, nah, let's let's not I'm not gonna try and change anything with the roundabout. Because I'm always so afraid that it's gonna easily get weird angles on it. Okay, so that is the entrance ramp. Bit of a weird angle. There we go. Um I'm seeing a bit of a weird angle there too. It's a little steep, but I think since it's a it's an entrance ramp or technically technically an off ramp, so it's okay if it's a little bit steep. Um, it's more of the the entrance ramp that you want to take more caution looking at. Which, speaking of entrances, let's try this. It'll have to be quite long because you don't want it to be too steep. So I don't know. Maybe there. And then, let me guess, once I drag it, it's going to go crazy? No? Okay. That's good. That is good. Raise it up a little bit. A little bit there. 
That should be fine. That's not too bad, is it? Now we're going to try and do the same here as well. And since it's high enough, we can still put any roads underneath underneath it if we need. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty high, so we can still be, build roads. So that really um, allows me to have a lot more freedom. Put that there. Okay. Can I drag it into place without it creating a yucky angle? Ugh, ugh, look at that, yuck. Okay, I think that's okay. I'm just going to change this one because it's on the ground and it looks odd because it's, it's the only one that doesn't have a barrier. So if I connect it there, is it going to create that yucky angle? Nope, good. Very good. Let's straighten that up like so. And now we have an entrance and exit ramp. That was quite easy. I thought it was going to be really hard because um, of the terrain and the space, but it's okay actually. That's a little bit yuck. Let's go like that. Okay, let's check that, the, that it's all the right way. So we've got that one going that way, that one going that way, that way, that way. That is good. It looks good. Okay, now can we get a road over here with it without it cutting into that traffic? I think maybe bring that down a little bit. Um, let's make this, let's make either side generally flat make it generally even I mean and let's see oh actually let me do it from this side first that might be a bit better that is definitely too close so let's what 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 can we do I don't want to lower the bridge because then it creates a really annoying issue because of the terrain thing that I was talking about earlier. Um, can I lower that down just a little bit there and then bring it down there? And then again I want to make this side generally even. Oh it's close, it's really close. Let's look at it from this side. Definitely too close isn't it? Yes. That could do, that could do. Um, I'm going to put the wall barrier on there as well to make it look a little bit more uh, neater, but I think that's good, that's good. It turned out much easier than I thought it was going to be. Then why not continue this generic lovely road all the way down to... Actually, that little connection there is in the way. See the little connection for the bridge, the white part? So what if I drag it down a little bit there? Then maybe it's alright. There we go. So we now have a new highway connection. But I also do want to connect it right here as well. So the thing that I can do is I can just go like this. Uh, and then we can manage the traffic with uh, time traffic lights but it could very easily become a huge issue because of the proximity the spaces between um, I'll think about that for a little while but let's have a look at this height that's quite steep isn't it oh my god quite steep let's bring that up a little bit it's still quite steep so let's bring it up a little more just so it's a nice nice smooth drive Okay, is that better? Now, to me, it still looks quite steep. Let's go into first person and go have a real look at it. Yeah, oh my god. Which one was it? It was this one. Huh. And then we can raise this one up. Okay. Uh could be okay, could be. Maybe we should add in a little roundabout here because uh, I just I just don't know because 
let's just leave it like that for now but I'm happy with that let's work on um, the other side so actually you know what let's make a little tunnel through here should we because otherwise I have to do a really sharp turn and I don't want to do that so just to make it a little more interesting let's make a nice little tunnel again uh, in tunnel please use that tunnel in and tunnel go here and then tunnel out there we go you know what I just realized I can't put a roundabout here because of the tram line so and I'm never a fan of putting a tram if you do a roundabout I don't want to put the tram through the middle of the roundabout because that's a very amateur um, it's a potential real because of traffic issues down the line so I'm not gonna do that um, I think for now let's just leave it like this because I can do time traffic lights to match it all up and make it much more um, just make it flow a lot more easier so that's that's a possibility um, so we can really make this one big huge intersection um, actually why is that at minus let's go like that again it's at minus what the heck oh my god okay um I think let's just leave it like that we can we can get away with it I think um, I don't think there's any space to put another road connection over here so these will have to be the two connections to get over here plus this one for now um, definitely there's going to be some public transport going through here in the future but for now not so much um, I guess we'll have to put in a bridge here but I want to put it kind of in the same um, the same angle which is kind of like that I think something like that that should be the same angle as the other one just so it looks even even and more neater I suppose um, okay now that's a bit of a yucky angle in there where is it where's that connection there we go uh, let's just curve it a little bit yeah oh well it's close enough um, and then we have this road here maybe we can continue this should I just do a straight line and make a weird connection here maybe I will give it give me something harder to work with because this is going to be a nightmare area but you know what that's okay I'm fine with that and then this road here will be actually we should kind of line it up a bit with this um, the lines over here the grid so let's make it a little at least a little bit more similar and then I can go around there and connect up to there like so oh we have a power issue ah oh, that's right because I removed I moved the power thing up here there it is that one was it that one yep let's move it to in that corner so it's out of the way okay good 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 and then why not since this is the industrial area it's always easier to make the industrial area a grid because the traffic is um, quite a lot it's quite excessive it's going to get very busy very quickly and once it becomes a huge issue like that it's easier to manage it when it's in a huge grid like that um, okay so I think we'll just do a little bit industrial here along the highway, a little bit up along this river, and then all of this part here will be um, kind of like this area here. It's a mixture of medium and then low density. But before we do that, oh, there's a flood because of the water the thing that I was saying about the, the bridges earlier. Oh, so annoying. But okay, there we go. Uh, uh. And while I think of it, let's add in. A tram station right there and right there and I'll add in the um, connections the uh, the walkway over later on but for now for now let's get some water going
And then I'll also add in a pedestrian bridge, maybe just going straight across here. Because, I mean, it's the industrial area, so there's go obviously going to be a lot of workers coming in here. Um, I don't think I'll put a tram over on this side. But I can do bus lines specifically for this area, I suppose. Um, so yeah, this, this, that's turned out good. Traffic here, how's it going? Okay, I think I'll have to do time traffic lights and I'll give priority to this this line of traffic right here because obviously that's going to be the more busy one I might have to do something here as well um, but for now let's not worry about that um, but of course once I zone all of this there's going to be a huge influx of traffic and it's going to look like oh no it's really congested it looks really horrible oh but don't be fooled they're just moving in so so before I get into adding everything in, we need to continue on with the road design. Um, so we have this one, these two will be the main ones for the industrial. And like I said, I put in a little bit of industrial along this part, but honestly, not not too much. I mean, uh, um, okay, I don't want to put a road connection here because I assume this road and this road will, will be become will become quite busy so the road connection will be on this one so this is basically a road designated just for the industrial area and also this these inner roads you can put in as many connections as you want but this one along here this is going to be the main priority road um, and these ones are just going to be the sub roads so this one you don't want to add any connections I don't think I'll add any to be honest, so all of the local traffic will be diverted along here, and all of the passing through traffic will be divi diverted along here and along here. So they're the ones that you don't want to congest up too much. Um, and then we have this weird little angle, so why not go like that and like that? Very good, very good, very good. And I guess I don't want to put it too close to the water because then it's going to um, change the the uh, the water line. It's going to create like the awkward shapes when you like if you zone here, it's going to create a very square shape. So I don't want to do that. Let's put that there, but not connect it there, um, and connect that one there. Simple grid, but that's good enough. And let's really maximize the space so let's put the road up along there like that a few connections up there and this one can go this one can go there like that very good I might put some park park space through here to make it a little bit more a bit more nicer um, if it floods yes the flood water will just go whoosh straight over it so good luck to them, but at least it's mostly industrial area. No one's going to lose their home. Just going to lose their factory, so... Um, connect. Let's make that a straight line. And then we can do some fake connections here. And maybe not that one, but that one is okay. Um, what is going on with the water right now? It's related to this, I, I assume. <laughs> okay, well anyway, besides the water, um, you can see that I didn't add any more connections connections onto this road. All of the connections are in here because these roads are not going anywhere. They really just divert back to this main road anyway. So it, it doesn't really matter how many connections are on there. Um, and then I think I might go download some specific Soviet type looking buildings and I shall be back and here we have it folks this is all of it and keep in mind pretty much all of this is industrial except for a few little buildings along the main road where that big bridge is um, and since I'm doing a voiceover I can tell you guys that that bridge I actually remove it because it kept causing so many floods in this whole area because of the weird terrain thing underneath so in the next episode it's gone it's just back to being a normal bridge show so just in case you notice that in the next episode so um 
even though this area is huge, we have the monorail, uh, not monorail, we have the tram station right here, um, we have the big pedestrian walkway, there still is 100% demand for industrial. And I even put the industrial as a, uh, what is it, it's that policy where it doubles the capacity of everything. So even with that, there's still 100% demand. So in the next episode, we'll have to come back, I'll have to keep adding more industrial throughout the whole area. I don't necessarily want to add any more in here because I think if I filled in this whole area with just industrial, um, it would really just push the whole area to the limit. All of the roads would be extremely congested. I'd have to put in, in a lot of public transport. And this whole area, it's, it's in a corner of the whole map. So doing any public transport like huge train networks to get over to here, um, subways, well, we'll do subways eventually, but maybe a monorail, all of that is going to seem a little extreme just to get to this one corner. So the surrounding areas in this particular area will only be just the usual residential, commercial, a little bit of office as well. Um, and then we'll have to find somewhere else to put more industrial. Um, and like I said, I was going to put a little pedestrian bridge and you can see a lot of people are using it. So it's really, really helpful for all of the, all of the workers to get there. And at first when I zoned all of this and all the buildings came in, there was still a lot of offices, a lot of indust, um, there was still a lot of factories that were looking for employees, but suddenly all of them moved in. And I was like, uh oh, because I really thought this whole area, it's quite big. All of the buildings that I put in, they do need workers. So I thought by doing such a huge area, it would fix the whole uh, work demand issue, but no. So we'll have to just keep adding in more and more. And I downloaded a few custom buildings, which you guys will see in a second. Um, I downloaded that huge big tank, which I think is for oil, but... Um, technically doesn't really do anything for the game, it just it's just for aesthetic reasons, just to make it look good. I also added in that park, which you can see at the top, little, uh, top right. Um, I just didn't want to make it a completely dirty industrial area. I still wanted it to look a little bit more nicer than just like what I usually do, because usually when I do industrial spaces, I completely ignore their general basic needs, because... I don't know why I've, I've always been like that with industrial space. I just zone it, make sure there's good traffic flow, and then I leave it. I don't really care about what their needs are. So I'm trying not to just abandon it completely. So they've got all of the necessary facilities, parks. They've got public transport. They've got, got good road access. They've got police, fire, and also a clinic there. They've got shops. I put commercial throughout the whole little industrial area. Just little like corner shops, but you won't really see them because they are blended in quite well. And um, like I said, that bridge is it's gone. Now it's gone. I, I really liked it because it suited the whole area, but it's gone. Um, so this road here, I feel like I'll have to um, upgrade that to possibly six lanes because now it's only four. Uh, because this is going to be the main road that goes through the whole area and you can notice I only added that extra four lane road right there to the whole main road. I didn't add in any smaller roads because those smaller roads would just be an inconvenience for the traffic who's trying to just pass through that area. Um, and you can see there's some custom buildings so along the main road going through the industrial area, this road right here, I added these I guess factory type, maybe X office buildings, I don't know what you call them, but I just thought that's a nice little twist, and I tried to bunch them all together, so it looks like a main street, kind of, if that makes sense, and I think it's a nice, it's a nice little, um, it's just something different than the ordinary, dirty looking, uh, industrial buildings. Um, we just got a few normal European shops along the street there, just to mix it up a little bit, and a few big warehouses, but other than that, uh, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover. So in the next episode, I'll continue working on the surrounding area, adding in more industrial area, 
and we'll go from there. So hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a comment, um, like, subscribe, do whatever you want. I don't mind, but I just love reading all your comments, especially ideas for things to do in the future. And also one thing I forgot to do was I forgot to add in the wall barrier at the new highway exit at the top right of the screen. Uh, I did that off camera, so next time we have a look at it, it should be all done. And it looks quite good. So just giving you guys a final little shaky look of everything. I'm quite proud of it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.